advertisement. <laughs> Highlighting his hero. And of course, technology <laughs> is not being our friend. Hello, my name is Kayla, and this is my friend Brad Gallagher. When I first started playing hockey, people always told me I was too small, but I never let that stop me. Before we continue, I just want to dim the lights. I'll make it easier to see. Fifth graders, this is exciting for you guys. You didn't get to see this yesterday. <laughs> Stopping superhuman that is featured in movies and comic books? Is it the detective who always catches the bad guy and saves the day? Or is it the person in your world who you know would always do the right thing and keep persevering even when life seems to have it in for them? Having osteogenesis imperfecta, which one of 15,000 people do, is a harsh status to live with. Your height will be limited and your bones will be so brittle that a fracture is commonplace. However, Caleb Wolf de Mello Torres has been accomplishing amazing things, even with the odds stacked up against him in his big feet. Relatively recently, Caleb learned how to walk, even with his bones so uncommonly fragile. For individuals with OI, this is a big deal as their muscles will be poorly developed in the arms and legs. This major accomplishment stunned even the doctors at Shriners Hospital, where Caleb goes for medical attention. Because of his pure determination, they selected him as one of their spokespeople. Although he has suffered over 200 bone fractures since he was born, Caleb is still at it, living life like a true star. Caleb is a huge part of my life. If it weren't for him, I really wouldn't be as aware of all the people in the world who have medical struggles to deal with every day of their lives. They're all troopers in the fact that they are still fighting the battle against disabilities. Let's face it. Caleb's conditions are different than ours. However, at the time I write this, he is 11 years old and a great friend. On the inside, Caleb's just like any other kid his age. We both like to play Minecraft. We talk, have conversations, watch television. All of this is to say that Caleb is in no way different than us in the way he thinks. Unfortunately, some strangers are unintentionally blind and don't see the magic in my amazing friend. There was one time when Caleb and his family were shopping at a grocery store. They were purchasing items and it was time to pay. The cashier decided to strike up a conversation with Caleb. He didn't talk in a young, playful voice that grown-ups use for children, however. Instead, he saw well past Caleb's physical disability and talked to him like an ordinary 11-year-old. The cashier was responding to Caleb's level of maturity, not what meets the eye. I find it sad that this was a moment worth telling. The world needs to do better at looking beyond books' covers. Despite all of the daily challenges he faces, Caleb never has, and never will, let his disability put him down. He always does his best, and his best is always amazing. I find it really inspiring to watch and hear about Caleb participating in everyday activities. Can't isn't a word in his vocabulary. Whether it's the pure persistence he shows, or his supportive, kind attitude, Caleb is always phenomenal in everything he does. Even at the age of 11, he is accomplishing amazing things, and I believe that if every human had his determination, we, as a people, could do anything. What is a hero? Maybe not all heroes wear capes. Maybe not all heroes can solve seemingly impossible mysteries. But one thing all heroes have in common is their pure hearts. 
In this way, Caleb flies among the heights of Superman and Sherlock Holmes. He really is a miracle, and above all else, a hero.